accounting for cor corporation. So, bago tayo mag-proceed, i-recall muna natin yung structure ng balance sheet ng sole proprietorship, partnership, and corporation. Sa sole proprietorship, typically, yung nakikita natin is asset equals liabilities plus owner's equity. So, yung capital, rep ito yung owner's equity. Sa partnership naman, asset equals liabilities plus partner's capital. So, sa partnership naman, makikita natin dito yung mga Maraming capital accounts ng bawat partner. So, hindi lang isang capital yung makikita natin sa balance sheet ng partnership. Dahil papakita doon yung lahat ng capital balances ng bawat partner. Sa corporation naman, asset equals liabilities plus shareholders equity. Sa proprietorship is owner, owner's equity. Sa partnership is partner's capital. Sa corporation naman, ang counterpart niya ay shareholders equity. Which is yung Magiging topic natin today. And yung shareholders equity is meron siyang two major components, the share capital and the retained earnings. Accounting for corporations. Shareholders equity has two major components, the share capital and retained earnings. Share capital or the contributed or the paid-in capital reflects the amount of resources received by a corporation as a result of investment by shareholders, donations, and other share capital transactions. So basically, sa share capital, nandito ang lahat ng resources na nareceive ni corporation from issuance ng kanyang mga shares sa mga investor sa share capital siya napupunta <clears throat> retained earnings or the accumulated profits or losses is the amount of capital accumulated and retained through the profitable operations of the end of the business so retained earnings so from, from the term itself retained earnings mga earnings na na-retain ni corporation ibig sabihin lang nun, lahat ng income or lahat ng profit ni corporation is dito pumapasok sa retained earnings. Kapag share capital, contribution from shareholders or yung mga resources na nare-receive ni corporation from issuance ng share capital at kapag retained earnings naman, dito napupunta ang lahat ng profit ni corporation. Terms related to share capital. Authorized number, ah sorry, authorized share capital. The number of authorized shares indicates the maximum number of shares the corporation can issue. This maximum shares when multiplied with the par value of shares will yield the authorized share capital. So, syempre, limited lang din naman ang number ng shares na pwedeng i-issue ni corporation. Kung baga, sa authorized share capital, <coughs> nandito yung number ng authorized shares lang na pwedeng i-issue ni corporation sa mga shareholder or investor. Authorized share capital Na number of shares Then yung authorized number of shares Times the par value Will yield the authorized share capital In peso or in dollar Issued share capital These are shares which have been sold And paid for in full Ibig sabihin ng issued share capital Ito yung mga shares na na-issue Or nabenta na sa mga investor And hawak na siya ngayon Ng mga shareholders So ito yung mga issued share capital Subscribe share capital is the portion of the authorized share capital that has been subscribed but not yet fully paid. So, ibig sabihin, subscription lang siya ng share capital and yung payment for issuance ng share cap ng subscribe capital is hindi pa nakokolekta ni corporation. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng comprehensive discussion ng kung ano ng subscribe share capital. So, for the meantime, ito na lang muna yung mapaniwanag namin sa inyo. Dahil magkakaroon tayo ng comprehensive discussion nito sa mga susunod na topics about corporation. Outstanding share capital. These are issued shares which are in hands of the shareholders. The number of outstanding shares will equal the difference between the issued shares and the treasury shares. Ibig sabihin lang nun, lagyan natin to ng note. Outstanding shares equals daw sa issued shares 
minus the treasury shares. Okay. Sabi daw, ang outstanding share capital, ito yung mga shares na in the hands na ng mga shareholder. And ang formula to compute, the outstanding shares will be the outstanding shares equals issued shares minus treasury shares. So, may nabanggit na treasury shares. Ano ba tong treasury shares na to? Treasury stock. Yung treasury shares at treasury stock is synonymous lang yung term nila. These are issued shares acquired by the corporation but not retired. Okay. Ang treasury shares is ito yung mga shares na ni corporation na bili, binili niya din. Kung baga binili ni corporation yung sarili niyang shares. So kaya nakales siya dito sa pag-compute ng outstanding shares dahil yung treasury shares is wala naman siya sa kamay ng mga shareholders. Nasa kamay siya mismo ng corporation na bumili ng kanyang sariling shares. Two basic types of shares. Una yung ordinary share at preference share. Ordinary share represents the basic ownership class of corporation. When only one class of share is issued, it must be ordinary share. So, ibig sabihin kapag isang klase lang ng, ng share yung ini-issue ni corporation, dapat ordinary share. Hindi pwedeng preference share. Preference share, this share gives its owners certain advantage over ordinary shareholders. Preferred as to dividends and preferred as to assets. So, kapag ordinary share is basic ownership class lang ng corporation. Kapag preference share naman, so meron siyang advantage over ordinary share. To the extent, halimbawa, ang dividends. Ibig sabihin ng non preferred as to dividends, kapag nag-declare or kapag nagbayad ng dividends si corporation sa mga shareholders, ang unang babayaran ay si, ay si preference shareholders bago si ordinary share. And preferred as to assets, meaning kapag nag si corporation, si preference shareholders muna yung babayaran bago si ordinary shareholder. Kaya merong mga certain advantage yung mga holders ng preference over ordinary shares. Accounting for issuance of share capital. The entry to record the issuance of share capital depends on whether the stock is with par or without par. So, depende ang journal entry kung siya ba ay without par or with par. When shares with par value are sold, the proceeds should be credited to the share capital account to the extent of the par value of shares with any excess being reflected as share premium. So, kapag with par value, kapag illustrate natin siya, ganito yung kanyang magiging itsura. So, kung ito yung proceeds from issuance of shares or sale of shares, yung proceeds, isahatiin natin sa share capital at par value. Then, yung excess ng proceeds over share capital at par value would be on share premium. So, debit natin yung proceeds, yung consideration received, Credit the share capital account at par value and credit the share premium for the excess of proceeds or the consideration received over the share capital at par value. When shares without par value naman are sold, kanina with par value, ganito yung structure. Yung proceeds, debit, credit the share capital at par value, credit share premium for the excess. Paano naman kapag without par value? Ang sabi, the proceeds should be credited to the share capital account. If the no par stock has a stated value, the excess proceeds over stated value may be alternatively be credited to share premium. Okay, ulit. The proceeds should be credited to the share capital account. So, ibig sabihin kapag without par, Lahat ng proceeds is sa share capital account papasok. So, ganito siya. Kapag without par value, the proceed from issuance of shares is lahat mapupunta sa share capital account. Paano naman kapag yung without par value na stock has a stated value? Ang sabi, the excess proceeds over stated value may be alternatively credited to the share premium. So, maganito yung magiging itsura ng entry natin kapag merong stated value na given 
yung without par value na shares. Ito, ganyan. Okay. Kapag without par value, so, kompletuhin na natin to. Without par value, without stated value, yung proceeds from issuance of shares would be lahat sa share capital account. Kapag without par value naman, but with stated value, so, yung proceeds from issuance of shares would be Yung, pro, yung portion ng proceeds is sa share capital at stated value, then yung excess, may be alternatively be credited to share premium. So, meron tayo ditong illustration and gagamitin natin itong tatlong mga note natin doon sa problem na ating isasolve. Okay, gagamitin natin itong mga nasa index card. Illustration. Roa Corporation's articles authorize the issuance of 100,000 ordinary shares. So remember, ito yung authorized share capital or yung number of authorized share capital. Meaning si Roa Corporation, authorized lang siya na mag-issue ng 100,000 na ordinary shares. Hindi na siya pwedeng sumobra sa 100,000. And napansin natin, na isang klase lang ng share yung ini-issue niya. And kapag isang klase lang, dapat ordinary shares. Roa sold the following ordinary shares during 2019. So, meron siyang sale ng February, July, and November. Ang requirement, prepare journal entries to record is issuance assuming that the ordinary share capital has a 100 peso par value. So, may given na par value. So, ibig sabihin sa number 1, since na given yung par value, eto yung gagamitin natin na index card. Sa number 2, the ordinary share capital has no par or no stated. Okay, so ito naman, yung kulay blue for the number 2. Ito yung titingnan natin mamaya. <clears throat> and number 3, the ordinary shares has a 10 peso stated value. So hindi given yung par value pero may stated value na 10 pesos. So ito naman yung gagamitin natin na <clears throat> index card for number 3. And, gag and gag ang gagawin natin is gagawa tayo ng Journal entries to record each issuance. Okay, gagawin muna natin yung number one. The ordinary shares has a 100 peso par value. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung gagamitin natin na guide to record yung journal entry assuming na may par value yung share na 100 pesos per share. Okay, February 12. Debit the proceeds from issuance of shares, debit, cash. Ang sabi, February 12, sold 1,000 shares for 100,000. Debit cash, 100,000. Okay. Ang credit is, yung proceeds, ahatiin natin siya sa share capital at par value. Credit natin siya dito sa dalawang ito, share capital at par value. Ay kapag mag excess ay share premium. Credit Ordinary Share Capital 1,000 shares times par value. Remember, share capital at par value. Share capital at par value na 100 pesos. So, 1,000 1, times 100 pesos equals 100,000 pesos. So, walang share premium dahil ang consideration received is equal sa par value ng shares. Next. July 10. Okay, July 10, sold 5,000 shares for 630,000. Assuming na par value is 100 peso per share. Debit, cash na 630,000. Credit, ordinary share, capital na ilang shares ang binenta? 5,000 times par value 100 pesos based sa ating guide. 5,000 times 100 equals 500,000 pesos. So, 630 Yung 500,000 sa share capital, then yung excess na 130 would be on 
share premium ordinary shares na 130,000 pesos. November 5. Debit cash na 1,050,000 pesos. Credit ordinary share capital na ilang shares ang in-issue. 7,500 times the par value ng share na 100 pesos per share. Ordinary share capital is 750,000. Then yung excess is share premium ordinary shares na 300,000 pesos. So, tapos na tayo sa requirement number 1. Next natin ay yung requirement number 2. Okay, requirement number 2. The ordinary shares has no par or no stated value. So, ito yung gagamitin natin as guide. Without par value, without stated value. Proceeds, lahat siya share capital. February 12. Debit cash. 100,000 credit ordinary share capital 100,000 pesos July 10 debit cash 630,000 credit ordinary share Capital na 630,000. Dahil kapag without par, without stated, proceeds from issuance, lahat sa share capital account. Next is November 5. Debit. Cash. Kasa number 2 pa rin tayo ha. 1,050,000. Credit. Ordinary. Share. Share. Capital, 1,050,000 pesos. Without par, bar value, without stated value, proceeds from issuance, lahat siya share capital accounts. Okay, tapos na tayo sa number 2. Next, number 3. The ordinary shares has a 10 peso stated value. So, ibig sabihin, hindi inindicate yung par value or without par value yan, pero given yung stated value, with stated value. And ito yung magiging guide natin sa paggawa ng journal entries. Okay, February 12. Debit cash, 100,000. Okay, ito yung cash proceeds. Ang sabi, kapag without par, with stated, yung, yung proceeds is a hatiin or ikikredit sa share capital at stated value, And maybe alternatively, be credited sa share premium for the excess. Gagamitin natin yung yung share capital at share premium na account. So yung ordinary share capital will be credited at amount nas equal sa kanyang stated value. So ilan ng shares? One thousand. Times the stated value, 10 pesos. That is 10,000. Credit, share, premium, ordinary shares for the difference, 90,000 pesos. July 10. Debit. Cash, 630,000. Credit, ordinary, share capital at stated value. Ilan lang shares na in-issue? 5,000 times the stated value, 10 pesos. That is 50,000 pesos. Then yung difference is share premium, ordinary shares for the para na 580,000 
pesos. So, yung proceeds, 630 share capital at stated value, 5,000 shares times 10 pesos, 50,000. Then, yung excess, 580,000 sa share premium. And last, November 5, debit cash, 1 million 50. Credit, ordinary share capital at stated value. Ilan lang shares? 7,500 times the 10 peso stated value. That is 75,000. Then yung excess to share premium. Share premium, ordinary shares, 975,000 pesos. So nagawa na natin yung number 1, number 2, and lastly yung number 3.